Welcome to Learning with Spider Mew! Today, I'm going to show you how to use the GIMP to edit sprites. I'll be doing this by showing you how to turn Marvel vs. Capcom style Mega Man into Fire Man. First, let me show you the important tools we're going to be using real quick. This little gem right here is the uh, lasso-y thingy. Basically, it lets you grab any area you want. This here is pencil. It makes dots, as long as you have it set to the minimum thingy. Yeah. Bucket fill fills in the color. Eraser erases things. All right. And the eyedropper selects colors. Also noted are a little, you should know, is a little trick. With the pencil tool, you hold down control, it acts like the eyedropper for just a moment while you're holding it down. When you're done, you let go and it goes back to being a pencil. This is very useful editing stuff really fast. Okay, you're going to want to go to Sprites Inc and you're going to want to download their sprite sheets that they have for Mega Man. They have lots of stuff there. You're going to want to go to the classic section and then you're going to want to go down to where it says Marvel vs. Capcom and it's got all the sprites included in the game right there. I'm just opening them up right now so you can see. Bam! It's Mega Man! Yeah! Just so I can see the whole thing. There we go. Alright, so we got that. So let's make a new document. I'm gonna make it 500 by 500. And you go down to Advanced Options and you select Transparency. It might not be the first thing to select it. Then we grab our lasso and grab what we want to use to edit. Okay, so I'm going to take... Uh, let's see... Mega Man looking like he's going to hug you. Copy. You can hold, hold down Control c to copy. And we're going to take this, because of his posturing and shoulders and stuff. Real Frankenstein for ya. Now we're gonna need his Buster. Where did the Buster the Buster? Okay, we'll take this one. And now we need this. His arm. But spider View, doesn't he have two blaster hands? Yes, he does. And I'm going to turn this arm into a buster from just what's there, just so you can see how to do it. And now that we've got everything we're going to need from there, just close it, hit the don't save, and there we go. Now one thing you're going to want to do so make sure you save your documents often. Anywhere you want, anywhere you're working, you're going to want to save because if you screw up really bad and you haven't saved, you're going to kick yourself later. So let's just call it Working Fireman. And because we're using the GIMP, we're going to make it a .xcf file. That's the GIMP's working normal files that only the GIMP can read. It's just easier this way. 